Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and it's time to look at the air gestures on the Galaxy S4. Let's check them out. So yeah, here they are. You can turn them off individually or turn them all off at the same time, at the same point. You can learn more about the actual sensor icon. So if you want to read that one there, just basically telling you that the actual sensor itself is this one here. Hopefully, you probably can see it looks like it's flickering red right now. It's not flickering red all the time, it just looks like that on camera. So let's go into them. So a quick glance, this is the... Um, one that I've shown in a previous video, but I'm going to show you this one anyway. So you can get notifications, unread messages, battery power, current music information, etc. So click try it. So all you do is kind of swipe your hand over it, and what it does is it lights up the actual screen, tells you the current time, it tells you any kind of missed calls or notifications you may have. And I've got to admit, that is one of the features that I love about the Galaxy S4. This should be in every device out there. Just the fact that when you're in bed, you don't want to turn your screen and kind of blind yourself when you, if your eyes have adjusted to the dark. And that's a very, very cool feature. The next one we're going to look at is called Air Jump. Now, Air Jump is pretty much what you think it is. So we're going to show you. When you're in a web page, if you want to scroll down to the bottom, what you can do is you kind of flick down, you can flick up. So as you can see, if I want to go back to the top, you kind of flick down. I want to go back up, flick up, flick up, and go back down. Now, instead of having to go like this and look like a spoon, if you want, you can actually just use, you can see the little red dot is there, basically just move your finger next to it there, and it will work as well. So you can just use it close like that. So obviously, you know, they want you to kind of go like that, you know, because you kind of, you know, make it look like a bit of a fool, but you can just kind of flick your finger down like that, and it will work nonetheless anywhere. So yeah. That is the air jump feature. Next we look at is called air browse. So this one is pretty much the one you've seen on all the adverts. This is the, the coolest looking one out of all of them, you know, for demonstration purposes. You can use it in the gallery, the internet, the music player, music on lock screen and S memo. The one we're going to show you is just regards to the actual gallery itself. So you're in the middle of the page, you've got one, one either side, you want to go to the next one, swipe across, swipe across, and swipe across. Again, you can do this within the web browser, which we'll show you really quickly now. So we've got a blank tab, I want to go to the other one, kind of swipe across, boom, it goes to the other one. I want to do it again, and boom, we'll go back. The next one we'll look at is called the Air Move. So Air Move, this one itself, it's a little bit difficult. Um, I can see why they've got it in there, but I don't, it's a bit annoying. Basically, hold it like that, and let's say you want to move from, you know, move to another page, you just kind of swing it like that, or swing it across, and then you can drop it. It's that simple. It is that easy to use. So again, we'll show you again. So instead of going from, you know, that way, I can go that way, I can go back, I can go forward, back, and hopefully you can see that on the screen that it is moving, just the bottom ones, and then just drop it and job done. It's a very cool feature, but I don't think it's something I'm going to use. Last but not least is the Air Call Accept. Now this one, again, I saw the, the advertisement for this, and it looks a lot easier in the advertisement than it does to actually use it. So if you click try, obviously I'm getting a call now. You think, if I want to answer it, you think you just kind of swipe it across and it'd answer. No, you've got to kind of go like that once or twice for it to actually answer the call. So again, we'll do it again. So if you get any call, you want it to go straight to it, just go like, yep, yeah, hello, answer, and job done. I'm pretty sure on the advert that I saw on YouTube, the guy just went, one, and it answered. Now you've got to kind of go back and forth twice for it to actually answer it. But yeah. They're the air gestures on the Galaxy S4. Some of them are very cool, some of them are very gimmicky, but nonetheless, I think they are pretty cool. What do you think though? As always, leave those comments down below. Please don't forget to hit that like button, it is very much appreciated, and subscribe for more videos. Anyway people, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers everyone.